Hey guys, it's Amber here with eTrailer. Today we're going to talk about RV batteries. So it can be a little bit overwhelming when you're trying to pick the right RV battery type uh, for your rig. So we're going to go over the four different types of batteries that you might encounter and the positives and negatives of each one. The oldest type of battery in the RV industry is going to be your flooded lead acid battery, which is what we have here. Um, there are some drawbacks to this older technology, and that's going to be that it does require some maintenance. Um, you have to top off the battery with distilled water every so often to keep it functional. And because it's filled with liquid, you can't use it, uh, you can't tilt it, or it can leak electrolyte fluid. Um, so that's another downside. And the other thing is that um, flooded lead acid batteries can only be discharged to about 50% before they start risking damage. So that is something that you're going to have to keep in mind when you're camping. Uh, you want to make sure that you never drain your battery past that mark um, or you do risk damaging it. Um, on the upside, the reason that people do gravitate toward these still is because they are so affordable. So for instance, a 100 amp hour battery, um, 100 amp hour 12 volt battery can cost about $200. Uh, so you can step that up um, with some of the higher tech batteries that we're going to talk about next, but that does still, the price does still make this a very affordable option. And typically these batteries are going to last you about three to five years. So AGM batteries are going to be another type that you might encounter, and that stands for absorbent and glass matte batteries. And these are going to be a little bit less maintenance than your traditional flooded lead acid batteries because they don't require you to top it off with distilled water. Um, and they're going to be able to be discharged down to about 80% before they start risking damage. So that's going to give you a little bit more leeway when you're camping. Um, these are going to last about 6 to 10 years. Uh, they are going to be a little bit more expensive than flooded lead acid batteries. Um, we talked about the 100 amp hour 12 volt battery um, and the flooded lead acid type costing about $200. And for AGM, that same battery will cost about $300. But again, you're going to get a little more flexibility. Uh, you're not going to risk damaging it as quickly and you're not going to have to do as much maintenance. Another type of RV battery that you might encounter are gel cell batteries. Uh, and these are going to be a step up from flooded lead acid batteries as the gel actually replaces the electrolyte solution. So you don't have to maintain them with distilled water. You don't have to worry about venting them or worry about the fluid leaking out. So you just really have less maintenance. Uh, and in terms of your camping adventures, you can discharge a gel battery to about 75% before you risk damage. So similar to AGM batteries, you have that flexibility. Um, you don't have to worry about killing your battery as quickly as you would a lead acid battery. Um, and the big thing with gel batteries is that they're, they're going to last about 10 to 20 years. So you are paying a little bit more for those batteries. Um, the 100 amp hour 12 volt battery example that we've been talking about uh, for a gel battery that's going to be about $350. So like I said, you are paying a little bit more, but it's going to last you a lot longer than other types of batteries uh, as long as you take care of it. So the last type of battery that we're going to talk about is lithium ion. This is going to be a newer technology. It's going to have a different chemical reaction than any other type of battery that we talked about so far. And what that basically means is that because of that, it's going to weigh less. It's going to weigh about half as much as the other types of batteries. And as we all know, with RVing, every pound counts. So if you can fit more batteries in your battery bank um, because they weigh less, that's always a good thing. Um, you're also going to be able to discharge it further. So lithium ion batteries can be discharged up to 95%. So you're going to have uh, way more leeway with a lithium ion battery than any other type of battery. Um, so that's going to be a big deal when you're camping as well. Lithium ion batteries are also not going to require any maintenance. So they're really simple. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. They last up to 15 to 20 years, so that's also going to be a really good thing that you're getting a lot for your money. And the money brings me to my last point, which is that lithium ion, unfortunately, is the most expensive type of battery. Um, a 100 amp hour lithium ion battery can cost upwards of $1,000. So you are paying a pretty penny, but you're getting a lot for your money. My final tip for you guys is that no matter what type of battery you choose, just make sure to keep it charged. Uh, so the main problem that people run into um, is when they start letting their batteries die, um, they start getting damaged or they let them sit out over winter and they're not charged um, and that leads to your batteries freezing. Um, that's going to be the quickest way to damage your battery. So just make sure to keep them charged at all times. Uh, my recommendation is that if you can swing it, a single 100 amp hour lithium ion battery is going to be worth it. Um, it's going to be your best bet, it's uh, the most bang for your buck. Um, but you can also choose any of the other types of batteries and they're all going to work for you as well. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. We are only a click or a comment away and we'll see you next time. If you guys like that content and want to check out our next video, go ahead and click this button over here. If you'd like to subscribe and check out the videos by our other Team COD trailer, go ahead and click this button over here. And if you want to just keep learning more about this topic, go ahead and check out our playlist over here.